guys, it's Aoife and I'm here for another Monthly Recommendations. Monthly Recommendations is a Goodreads group created by Trina at Between Chapters and Kayla at Kayla Rain and I will leave all the links to their channels and the Goodreads group below. And this month's topic is OTPs because obviously it is February and Valentine's Day and I probably should have had this up on Valentine's Day but I didn't. Um, so I just wanted to get into some of my OTPs that I really enjoy um, reading about. I had some trouble coming up with all these um, because, I don't know, I think OTPs, I don't really think about it a lot so I wasn't really sure and some of them are just kind of very generic kind of OTPs I guess and ones I've talked about before but I'll just get into them. My first OTP couple which is probably one of the ones that jumps first into my mind when I hear that is Perry and Arya from Under the Never Sky. I just adore their relationship and um, I just feel like it's very real. I love the fact that there is no love triangle in this series so they are very very strong throughout the entire series. There's never a moment where they kind of doubt their love for each other and they are just everything. I just love them so 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 much and I will just continue to love them for eternity and I really need to reread the series because it's definitely overdue. Um, but yeah I just I just adore Arya and Perry. They are probably one of my number ones. And another joint top OTP couple is definitely Tatiana and Alexander from the Bronze Horsemen. Their love is just amazing because it's like, I can't even explain, like just everything that happens in this book, the siege of Leningrad, them starving, like literally starving to death and they just look after each other and oh, there's just so many more bits in this book that just like leave you a bit breathless and just your heart aching and oh they are just like torn apart at times for like different reasons they can't be together they have to hide their love for so much of this book and when they finally kind of are able just to be together it is just so beautiful and I just love them so 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 much um they're just some of my favorite they're one of my favorite couples like ever I just adore them this is my favorite book of all time I love them. Another YA series that does not have a love triangle and is one of my top OTPs is the um, Cahill Witch Chronicles and that is Kate and Finn um, in this book. I just really love Kate and Finn. I feel they just, I don't know, they just really complement each other. They are just so perfect together. They are like both their minds and their hearts are just so similar that yeah they would just make such a beautiful couple. Um, I just love them so much. As I said, there is no love triangle. Well, they tried to do kind of a small love triangle in the first one, but then the other two books, there is no love triangle, which I loved. Um, and yeah, there's something that happens at the very, very end of the last, or the not the last book, the second last book, um, Starkhurst, and it just broke my heart. I was just like, oh my god, no, because I wasn't sure how Kate and Finn would kind of get through it. It was kind of tough at one point but obviously in Sister's Fate we get to see them work through it and I just loved it so much and I love them and I just love this series and this is another one that I do have to reread as well because I love this series. Another YA couple um, I'm going to pick is Lara Jean and Peter from um, To All The Boys I've Loved Before. As I've said this so many times before but this is a book that I really didn't think I'd like when I started reading it and I absolutely adored it. I just thought it was such a lovely book. It was so addictive. I fell in love with Lara Jean and Peter's fake relationship which suddenly turned into like a real relationship and yeah I just love Peter. He's just the typical kind of popular guy. He was a bit of a joker but I just feel like I just feel like him and Lara Jean just like get each other and I think I just love them together because they do have some of their like arguments and times they don't understand each other but they always work through it I feel like and yeah I'm just always going to be team Peter I think with this one because I love him he's just so cute he would definitely be the kind of guy that I'd like fancy in school so yeah I really really like him and Lara Jean together. Another top OTP is The Dragon and Agnieszka from um, Uprooted by Naomi Novik and oh, this book is so amazing. There is a scene in this book with the two of them that just like left me a little bit like oh, oh my god like it's just it's just like so steamy and yeah I just I loved it I was just kind of like screaming internally that it was happening I just loved it so much and um, I just love their relationship I just love how much like they respect each other um, and like I feel like he is so tough on her for a lot of the book but I feel like he does hold this really big respect for her and he yeah I just I just love uh, I can't even talk about them properly because I love them so much but yes this is definitely a, an OTP that will always be in my heart. And the last one I'm going to talk about is another YA couple and that is Frank and Emily from Since You've Been Gone. Um, I've read Since You've Been Gone a couple of years ago on holidays and Frank and Emily have just been seared into my heart ever since. Um, I just love them so much. 
again I think I would 100% fancy Frank um, if I was in school with him even though he is a different kind of character to Peter um, a little bit more nerdy than kind of popular I guess but kind of a nerdy popular actually but yeah I really 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 love their relationship and um, I just think Frank is just a really great guy and the way he helped Emily is just so cute and their friendship turned into romance and I just love it so much Um, so yeah I just really really enjoy reading them and yeah actually all of Morgan Matson's relationships that I've read so far I've really enjoyed but I think Emily and Frank are probably my favourite Um, but yeah so I love them. That is it for my top OTPs please let me know some of your top OTPs below and if you like agree with any of mine and um, thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time.